welcome back everyone, Mike here. I am uh, getting a little organized here this morning. I got all these logs here from uh, the Zillianople Community Park. If you saw that video the other day, you know what I'm talking about. But they had a massive uh, red oak tree that died last year. And a local tree service took it down the other day. And they asked me if I would cut it up for them, saw it into, uh, let me get a little better hold on this thing, saw it into uh, some 3 inch by 11 inch wide pieces, 4 feet long, for a railing by a new bridge that they're building, or that they already built. I'm not exactly sure what it'll look like, but I know what I need to saw for them. So what I'm doing here this morning is just kind of sizing some of these logs. This one here I was going to carry straight down, but it was about 15, 16 feet long. It was pretty heavy. So I figured I'd just cut it uh, down to size now because I'm going to have to anyway. But the ones that I have up there are huge. Uh, I think they're 33 inches in diameter, red oak. And uh, so I'm going to go up and get them down here as well kind of have a mess up there by the building that I want to get cleaned up. I split some wood up there the other day, which I don't normally do, but there was already a bunch of bark and stuff from this red oak that was there. But anyway, that's what I'm working on here this morning. That one big piece I need to trim down. I'll probably bust out the uh, 880 for that. It's uh, The way it flares out, it's probably close to four feet in diameter, but I can take some weight off of it as well. But anyway, it's a beautiful day here. It was uh, pretty chilly this morning, about 21, 22 degrees. And it is almost up to freezing right now, but it's been kind of nice getting around without uh, being in the mud. This log that I have on the tractor right now, this will probably be the first one that I saw. It's not one of the real big ones, but I'm gonna try to get a few pieces out of this one because I have some concerns that those real big ones may have some nails in it, I don't know. So I'm going to kind of work my way from smallest to biggest because this one was way up there, probably 30 feet in the air. Uh, so I doubt there's any nails in this. But once you get down there near the base, especially in a park like these ones were, there could be some nails in it. I didn't see any staining or anything like that. And I'm hoping for the best, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. This one here, this is pretty good size, about 32, 33 inches in diameter, and I don't know if I mentioned, they're looking for four foot long pieces, and the way this all flares out up here, this can all be cut off. Yeah, if I go to right here, that'll be five feet. That'll be plenty to allow for some drying and checking on the ends. Yeah, that should work. I may even try to cut one giant cookie off of this. You know, maybe make a table or something out of it. I could do that, maybe three inches thick. And then I would still have a piece, uh, you know, like four foot nine inches, four foot eight, something like that would be plenty. But next up, i got to do something with this big crotch piece here. I don't know what to do with this, to tell you the truth. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. This one here, yeah, about 31 inches in diameter. I'm just going to take it down below for right now. But I'm telling you, that bugger right there, it's heavy. But I think I can get under it with the forks on the tractor. I'll take it down below. And then we'll come back up and work on these uh, three big pieces that are left. Two big pieces. There will be three because this one's going to get cut in half as well. Which will work out good. You can see it got a little bend to it. So I'll cut this one. This is a 10-footer. I'll cut it in two, uh, two five-foot pieces.
do too bad on that big cookie there. I was able to keep it uh, pretty close to the same thickness from top to bottom. What I'll do, I'll take this in the garage tonight, and then I have a product that will uh, hopefully seal it up and keep it from cracking and checking. And then at some point, we'll make something out of that. Maybe even something for the park where this tree came from. So uh, Melissa just came out asking me the same question that many of you may have had before I explained it. Why am I cutting it up like this? The pieces that they need are four feet long. I'm 57 inches right now. Yeah. So I'm taking some weight off of it. And then this piece right here, you know that sealer stuff that that guy sent us? Right. We're going to seal that up, put it in the garage, and then maybe make something out of that sometime, like a table or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm still 57 inches long. They only need 48 inches, you know, four-foot pieces. So that's plenty long even to allow for uh, drying and, you know, cracking, checking on the ends and things. Okay. But the big news today is look at Melissa's hair, would you? She got her hair done today. It's been a while, hasn't it? Long while. Yeah. <clears throat> I like it. It looks great. Thanks. I like it too. Mm. All this from the cut, one cut. Two. That one and that one. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can see by where that pile of uh, sawdust is. Yeah. How close it is to the log. If I was running the 500 on a smaller log, yeah. it would be spread out the whole way back to where I'm standing. But that saw doesn't run as fast, but it's just so much torque. It's yeah. a, it's amazing. I keep saying that, but it just plows through that stuff like nothing. Well, I have the dogs out here. I, I heard it, and I thought, huh, I had no idea the excavator would sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I realized when you... Yeah. Yeah, that's just when it was idling. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an old dirt bike when it runs. 121 cc's, I think that's really? all. Really? Yeah. I had a Honda 125. About the same size engine. Yeah. So what are we doing tonight? Same thing we do every night? Nothing? Yeah. Try to stay awake till the good show, like a good 20, 20 or 48 hours comes on. Yeah. We, I, we used to maybe on a Saturday night or Friday night go out to dinner, but it's been forever. We do do the takeout thing, try to support, you know. Oh, yeah. We're very supportive of <laughs> local bars and grills. and I mean, we don't drink, but like a lot of the restaurants around our area are called a bar and grill. So yeah. we support, oh, let's try their chili, let's try their grilled cheeses, you know. Just, we feel so supportive. Yeah. As we're packing on the waves. <laughs> it's the <laughs> least we could do. All right, I'm gonna go up in uh, that other big log up there. I think I need to saw it right where it is. It's, it's really heavy. It's like 12 feet long. I was going to bring it down here, that's just the reason I brought this one down here to keep all the sawdust out of the driveway, but I need to clean all that up up there anyway, and then I'll just hit it with a leaf blower when I'm done and, and get rid of it. Alright, so I'll be in it a bit and we'll make our plans for uh, doing nothing tonight. Okay, I'm baking cookies. Hey, don't forget, check out Melissa's channel when you have a chance, Morgan's Off the Leash. Are you publishing yeah. one today? Finally. <laughs> She's publishing one today. You'll see this video tomorrow, so it, it will definitely be on, right? Yes. I'll put that video up above if you guys want to check it That'd out. That'd be great. All Thanks. right. And then we'll schedule a live coming up. Saturday night live in the near future. All right. Stay that sounds tuned. good. I'll see you in a bit. Okay.
All right, I got that one cut. Another big pile. Looks good. I've been thinking long and hard trying to find a good place to dig a nice shale pit. If you remember when I got the building site ready down by the uh, sawmill there, I dug a shale pit, hauled a bunch of fill up here. But somewhere I need to find a place to get something opened up without it looking like a quarry and have a permanent supply of good shale, you know, for fill material out on the trails. I need a bunch on the other side of the building. You can just always use some good dirt and that shale makes some really good fill. It compacts really well. Maybe down below the woodshed, I don't know, cut a road in. Uh, pretty much this whole top of this hill here, you only need to get down a couple feet and you're into that good shale. But I need a spot where I can get the dump trailer in. I even contemplated out here by the uh, little shooting range out here, going back that way further, but I'm, I'm not sure. I just have to think a little bit more about that. Like I said, tomorrow morning I'll go for a little hike and try to figure something out. But uh, I'm telling you, this excavator is going to come in really handy around here. It is. I haven't even got the bucket dirty yet, but I am anxious to do some digging with it. Uh, I mentioned the other day I've got that 30-inch bucket that's on it, an 18-inch bucket, and then next week I'll have a 4-foot, like a grading bucket. It'll be fantastic for cleaning out ditches, you know, stripping topsoil, spreading topsoil, just kind of dressing up. It should work out really well. And at some point, I'll get an auger for that. And uh, Melissa would like to plant a bunch of pine trees, like a bunch down by the road. And there's a few other places on the property would like to do the same thing. So uh, I'll probably end up getting an auger. But anyway, I think that's about it. This has been one of those days. I started out here this morning, and then I got kind of tied up with some other things. And then Hunter and I went back, but we did manage to get this finished up right now. I do have to clean up what's left here, but uh, that's no big deal. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. We really appreciate y'all being here. And don't forget, check out Melissa's channel, Morgan's Off the Leash. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.